Welcome back to Nick's Garage UK. Today, uh, as you can see, the, the car's painted, as hopefully you saw in the last video. I'm gonna start masking off the insides of the, the front wheel arches, and I'm gonna hopefully get some top coat on the inside. So I'll crack on with masking that off, and then hopefully we'll come back once the paint's mixed and we're about to start on it. Now the paint has dulled off a little bit overnight, which to be fair, I was expecting, because as I said in the last video, I only give it one, one uh, relatively thin coat. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flat this with 1500s, then I'm gonna do it in 2000s. See how it is, because there's a couple of minor imperfections and bits of dust in the paint. If necessary, I think I said already, I'm gonna get the tailgate and the bonnet on, and I'm actually gonna give it a, a coat over the entire car. So I'll pre-paint them first, and then I'll probably do a top coat over the whole thing if it still needs it. So we will get it there, we will get it consistent, I'm, I'm a DIY um, garden mechanic, if you like, so I'll just try my best. All right, that's the first arch that's all uh, covered up, so the intention is one day to actually remove the engine out of the car and do an engine bay resto, so this is just to get all the, the arch line and everything in colour. So I should be able to get right up into the top corners and basically get it so that everywhere you can see is in full top coat. I just want to show how it's ended up. So as you can see, top coat is all on, on the inside of the arches. I've made a start on cleaning up any bits of overspray as well. As you can see as well, this is the ridge. I mean, it's only done 6,201 miles, but we've still got the blue paint on them. Brakes, still the original brake pads as well on it. Everything's all got a bit of service rust. I think I'll probably take this bracket off. The rubber's perfect still. I've cleaned up the pipes as much as I can. See the condition of the subframe there. I've still got little bits of overspray to sort out. And uh, this steering gator as well. It was on there. Uh, the steering lock was on before, so I couldn't sort that. Just take you around to the next one. So again, we've still got marks from when, uh, when it was put together. Little bits of surface corrosion but nothing that I'm overly worried about. Inside of the arch, in top coat, all looking nice. I've cleaned up round here as best I can. Take it on to the next side. Again, brake drum, pretty much perfect. Inside of the arch, all in top coat. A little bit of surface corrosion so the subframes do want dropping at some stage and they do want finishing off but i'm going to be getting it back on the road before that happens and then finally passenger side front again condition of everything down to the rubbers the suspension units everything is in really good order and nice bit of top coat on as well. Even like the rubbers are all original. I need to get in there a little bit further, but I need to use some thinners and I wanna wait till the paint's gone off a little bit more before I do that. Original brake pipes, all the way through. Original suspension, original brakes, hub nut, and then finally, I've made a bit of a start on cleaning up the engine bay so you can see something there has come up really nice still needs cleaning a bit on the bottom but pretty decent the inner CV boot there needs cleaning off in the subframe I've done most of the back a little bit needs sorting out there the engine's come up quite nice 
and then I just need to start getting around cleaning everything up as much as possible. Right, I'm just going to show you where I'm up to at the minute. So I started wet flatting it. Um, I forgot to film to be fair. Sorry, fans on such a little bit of painting. Had a little bit of cut through in just a couple of small areas. So a little bit of cut through here, a little bit up there and on the edges of the roof. So I've just mixed up some paint and I'm just filling in them little edges. So the roof's relatively flat. What I'm doing is I'm just filling in just the edges where I have to cut through. I'm probably going to them four or five very light coats. A little bit on the wheel arch here as well. And then I add quite a big set from here. So I'm going to give it a few light coats and then I'm going to mix a fair bit of thinners in and I'm just going to dust over the roof. So as you know, the, the roof finish wasn't fantastic anyway. I probably could have brought it up to a nice polished finish. As you can see, it started to get a sheen on and I've only done that with 800. But what I've decided to do, as I say, is just give it a slightly thinner coat where I've got my little bits of cut through and just give the whole roof one coat again. All right, just to give you an idea where I'm up to now, as you can see behind. It's not perfect and you, you can definitely see some imperfections within the paint, but I've just give the, well, I've basically cut um, with the DA, the, the top layer, um, give it a little bit of a wet flat. I'll show you close up, just so you can hopefully see some of the, the orange peel that's still within it. I think you can just see it there. But, well, I assume it had some orange peel to begin with. So I've done the driver's side. It's the front wing. I've, I have actually managed to flat the, the wing back a little bit better. But it's looking okay. There's there's definitely a shine on it. Have a look underneath. I mean, it doesn't look brand new underneath. That's literally just clean though, as you you saw earlier on in the video. I'm just touching in the passenger arch because I had a another bit of a cut through just just on the very on the very edge when I was buffing that so I just need to do another coat just with a touch more lacquer just to flatten off the paint it's sort of touch more thin is not lacquer and then this door once polishing that's been flatted partially painted this earlier today just touched in a couple of sections um, this one's flattened down with 1200 grit. Back panel, a little bit more 1200 grit once doing around the outside, and then I can polish that up. And then the roof, I've started flattening the roof down a little bit, but I needed to stop because I had the, the issue there. I'm just trying to try to mix up what I'm doing because flattening with 1200s on the Try to do the whole car's monotonous, it's absolutely doing me head in. So I wanted to do something to give myself a little bit of a, a good feeling about where I'm up to. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.